Hi to all, welcome to RAM's Android Tutorials. In this video tutorial, we will discuss how to display list of items inside the alert dialog. So I have created already the project called alert dialog with list. Already we know how to create an alert dialog. So you can again watch the video tutorial uh, in previous videos called how to create an alert dialog. So we have a knowledge in how to create an alert dialog. So understanding this example is very easy. So first uh, we need to have one requirement to display the alert dialog so that I am creating one button and uh, for the button I am giving the id is button underscore names and here the text I am giving as name save it so right side you can see the button text name is names so whenever we are going to click this names button we are populating the alert dialog box and inside that we are displaying the number of names so user is going to set one name in that list i will come to the java code so we are not going to have uh, that means these methods we are not using so just we are deleting name and we need to write an action for the button first of all so button names button equal to we need to do the type casting button and calling the method find you by id or dot id dot button underscore names now names button dot set on click listener and we need to implement the interface so interface has been implemented now inside this on click method we need to display the dialog box so first of all we need to create a uh, builder object so builder object that means builder class from the alert dialog class builder builder equal to we need to create an object new builder of main activity dot this next we need to give the title so we know that we are going to use the method set title method so title i am giving is select name and uh, we are going to display the list of names inside the alert dialog so first we need to create an array it should have some names so that i am taking string array names equal to uh, let me take some names ram and rajesh and uh, ravi and uh, one more name suppose ram save it now we need to set these these are the items so names array is having four items inside it so we need to set this array to the builder class using the method called set items method so that builder dot set items you'll see inside this we have a two parameters one is int items id but we can provide directly the array called names and second one is we need to implement the interface for this so that uh, oh, that uh, on click listener new control space so dialog interface let's just again we'll uh, so on click listener it's a new dialog interface dot on click listener i think let us see new dialog interface First, let us see the uh, interface clearly. Set items. Uh, right. So, dialog interface dot on click on the right. Exactly. So, this is select the method. And first one is the array we should pass, that is names. Second one is new dialog interface dot on click listener right so here you should be very careful we are selecting on click listener from the uh, view class so it's not that means for the button we are using view dot on click listener the same thing if you are selecting here it's not going to give you the correct output you are going to get a compiled errors now so, uh, we need to call the method set items to that method which items you want to display in the list 
So the items we already defined in the string array. So that array name we need to pass called names. Or otherwise in the strings.xml you can create a string array. That one you need to call like r dot string dot the name what you have given for the string array. That name you need to call here now. Or otherwise directly you can create an array. And that array you are calling here. And after that once you click any item in that list you need to listen action for that. So for that we are having here on click listen interface and uh, whenever you click any item this on click method is going to execute so in this array we have a positions from 0 to c 0 1 2 3 so whenever you click any item the item position again it's going to give you here int which the position will come again the position starts from the 0 1 2 3 4 so that i just i want to do, uh, show the toast make test get application context and uh, names of we need to call which comma we need to uh, give that duration toast dot length underscore short dot show now we'll see here whenever you click any item in the list inside the alert dialog this method is going to execute and that item position it will give you so same positions here we are having why because the same array we are passing so that names of which we are passing so that name selected name is going to display in the toast now and after that we need to uh, take finally alert dialog class alert dialog equal to builder dot so we have taken the class right builder what's happening sorry inside here alert dialog alert dialog equal to builder dot builder dot we need to call create method and finally we need to call show method to show the dialog box so this is the program to display the list of items inside the alert dialog let me run the application And this program I will keep in my blog so you can get the source code from my blog called ram standard for all dot blogspot dot in. So select in the emulator. We'll see the output in this emulator. I'll see here we have a button name. So I'm going to click that name and it is going to display the alert dialog with the names. So this is the title we have passed select name and uh, the names are Ram, Rajesh, Ravi, Ramu. So I am selecting Ravi and you will see here the toast is displaying with the selected item name called Ravi. Thank you for watching. If you like my videos you can subscribe my channel by clicking subscribe button below and you can get the source code from my blog called ramsandred.blogspot.in. Thank you.